we're backstage Tory Burch and the makeup is a really beautiful smoky eye but worn in. So we're uh, applying the cold pencil all around the eye and underneath, blending with a clean brush up into the brow and then with a Q-tip going over that. So it has that really worn in soft feel. And then we're curling lashes and just putting mascara on the outer corner filling in eyebrows, a little bit of contour underneath the cheekbones and then tendering on the apples of the cheeks and then the lips is just lip balm. So it's somebody that's been out all evening and it's a bit dishevelled but still beautiful. I wanted them to look like they were uptown girls that got dressed up to go out to a function, met a guy, turned up at six o'clock in the morning back home and tried to fix their hair. I think it would be really nice if it looks like their hair had maybe fallen down and instead of using a hair accessory it looked like they put a brooch in their hair just to kind of like cover it up so it's all a bit off and I think it's nice the hair just feels looser and it's sexier of course as raw hair is always more sexier than you know kind of perfection. We're doing just a very short nail to a medium length on a rounder shape. Tory Burch has a busy print, has a lot of colors, a lot of green, a yellow, purple, so we wanted to keep the nail just very simple, very clean, elegant. Everyone keeps going back to Mademoiselle. You feel like you're always gonna move forward to another shade, but you keep coming back to Mademoiselle. <laughs> I think the idea was sort of every woman has had this experience, but prim and proper and pulled together, but with sexy undertones that aren't so overt. The idea of sexiness where she doesn't know she's sexy. We did structured suits and nipped waists and these tiny knits and then we did very skinny pencil skirts and skinny pants. It was fun really mixing. We did painted leather and printed sequin and then we had a mix of chiffon and organza with lame. Well, handbags are becoming such an important part of our business, so almost every exit had a handbag, and it's a new shape for us, structured with tortoiseshell frames, and then we mixed in needlepoints and prints, and then the shoes. <laughs> so shoes were T-straps and spectators and a skinny high heel and pointed toes.
the most exciting show I saw today, without a doubt, was Tori Birch. Tori Birch has raised the bar in fashion. She is unexpected, so elegant, so perfect, so ladylike. Every woman is going to want a pair of spectator shoes, beautiful colors, great styling, like nothing she's ever done before. She's on a whole nother wavelength. She is my new hero. new for us. I mean, evening is not something we do a lot of, so we wanted it to be sort of elegant, and I love the mix of the jewel tone green with the black. You know, it's so important to have a unique vision and point of view and also know that you need to be tenacious and not give up if you believe in yourself.